Hi friends. Hi everybody. How are y'all doing? Um, I am so excited for the game we're playing today. Um, because um, I understand next to nothing about it. It is. Oh my god. Thank you for subbing, Phantom. We're <laughs> so we are playing um, a FNAF dating sim. I need to double check on uh, whether or not Twitch has the proper game. No, Twitch put it as Spy Party again. So the problem is I have to put that I'm playing regular FNAF uh, when I have very much not. But Five Nights of Flirting is a, a totally, like, not... It's like a totally different game. Hi, Shiloh. Oh, my God. That outfit is so cute on you. Do you want to show off? <laughs> You're so cute. Come here. This is Shiloh's new dress. <laughs> Can I get the dress for you? I got this dress for Shiloh. And wearing fancy shoes. I love you. Your little whiskers, you are so cute. You also smell really nice. Thanks. This is very cute. You gonna go out? Yeah. It's a really cute outfit. You look lovely. Thank you. Yeah. You like to walk in when I start stream so you can show off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you started yet. Well, everyone's saying hello. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I think that Charlie's also in chat. OMG, hello. You look so fucking cute. I love you. I love you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, but I love you, and I'll I see you later. You. Have a good stream. Have a good night. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. So, we... Oh, also, I made it so that um, I have the biggest screen possible so you all can see everything. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable. This game is... is first off, let me pull up the game itself. Um, I will just... I will just... Uh, Five Nights of Flirting. There we go. Jasper is doing very good. He was really, um, he needed a lot of attention today. And you know, we've all been there. So Five Nights of Flirting is apparently based on like an AU of an AU, which I only know because I started the game up and then I didn't proceed past like the prologue. Um, I'm, it's an AU of an AU, like how Undertale has like a billion AUs and derivative AUs, and it's really fucking funny. Like this is like, yes, this is like peak. This is like peak 2018 FNAF cringe. And I think that that is so pure of heart, you know? <laughs> so I'm really excited. Um, but apparently it's based on an AU of the broken AU. And so I pulled up it's a Mino page because this is one of like the only like pieces of info I could even find on it. It was really confusing. Um, but this, <laughs> this is what the Amino page says. This AU takes place in Fredbear's family diner where Fredbear and Spring Bonnie played and live. They got really close like siblings, but soon gets a remodeled after after a fatal in in incident to a kid's frontal lobe. I bet you all know what incident. But when Fredbear gets taken away, Spring Bonnie starts to act differently like he's going insane. Soon after the remodeling, the FNAF 1 and 2 animatronics get shipped to, a, to the location and Spring Bonnie snaps. He gets aggressive around the others, attacking them, breaking their eyes and other parts. Of course, the company doesn't know that because that takes place during the night, a.k.a. when the night guard is there. What? Like, the company just doesn't see the wreckage after? Doesn't see that all of the, all of the animatronics are destroyed? One day, Spring Bonnie lures many kids to the back room and kills them all, but no one was in his suit. William wasn't guilty. It was all Spring Bonnie's fault. That's when he gets the red color in one of his eyes. He had lost it for many years, but with those murders, he officially can't go back and fix himself. Now he's too far in. Now he's completely insane. So, <laughs> there's Shadow Bonnie, Toy Bonnie, etc., etc. Okay. So, I... I'm not even close to under. Oh my god, this is so fucking like this really epitomizes like Tumblr's culture surrounding FNAF. No, no, this is great. This is really good. I love it. Wait, this little motherfucker down here. 
This is great. Oh my god. Okay. So. <laughs> How do you find some of these games? I was watching a FNAF retrospective. Oh my god, a hype chain was close. I didn't even notice that. Um, I, <laughs> I was watching a FNAF retrospective, and they referenced... Um, uh, like Vincent and how I don't know if y'all even remember this but like I can't look it up on Google or else it's gonna pop up something horny um, but there like there's a lot of art on Tumblr especially look up FNAF Vincent that was the name that the fandom gave uh, purple guy they th uh, they thought that purple guy was a night guard and they named him Vincent it was a whole thing um, you are right Razzle Dazzle it is very murder it will um, they thought that Vincent was a night guard and was the purple guy and they really really just woobified the fuck out of him and so i the retrospective i mentioned is by sagan hawks really excellent youtuber you should watch it it's quite good mentioned vincent and then i looked that up and then i saw and i saw something about five nights of flirting and i was like okay well that's insane and i have to play it you know because my number one like favorite thing to do on this channel is bad dating sims So, um, yeah, uh, what Aether said is right, NAU is just an alternate universe. Basically, you take the characters, um, or, like, the world, and then you just kind of, like, make your own plot. You can kind of change the characters however you want. Um, where's the second AU part? You said it was AU and an AU. So that is the tricky part. I don't quite know. I'm going to launch the game so you all can see what I see. At this point, you all know as much as I do. Like, once I pull up the actual um like game itself after that prologue you all are going to know the same stuff that i know so let me fnaf romance game is what the file is called application bam okay so the problem is that i also can't figure out how to full screen it um so hopefully it'll tell me how to full screen because i really want to know Back when we all thought Blue's badge was toast. Yes. The, all of that art where they were like, <laughs> purple guy loves toast, which is, oh my God, shut up. It's sufferable. Yes. Back then. A lot of like Tumblr ask blogs where they're like, it's like, ask the FNAF night guards. And then it's like, how does Vincent like his toast? And it's like cute little art, whatever. And listen, I know it's just the fandom having fun, but good God. I, I always say cringe is dead, but I'm not so sure it is. So, uh, I don't know who half these bitches are. I don't know who any of these bitches are. I know that that's Vincent. That's, fo that's Vincent. That's phone guy, I guess. Um, Fritz. Oh, oh. So they've all, they also have, I think this might be Mike and Fritz then. It, Cause those were the, um, night guards that the character played as in the FNAF games. Cringe is dead so long as I like it. Otherwise, it's still cringy as fuck. That I can agree with. Also, if anybody knows how to full screen this, please tell me. <laughs> I might bump this music down a little. Tell me how that audio is. Because um, I want you guys to be able to hear me and also the game. Okay. Uh, escape a start menu or backspace, directional keys, move, space, enter. Okay. Warning, Five Nights of Flirting is rated M for adult themes, act of violence, mentions of child abuse, death, blood, gore, <laughs> suicide, and torture. So, kind of general FNAF shit. By agreeing to the Fazbear's Help Wanted ad, you agree that you are of legal age to play this game, and you plus you're okay to mention themes. Due to lack of reverence, this is your originally used. Oh, this is also a big deal. Due to the lack of references since the original AU creator's absence from Tumblr, who wishes not to be named... The creator of the game is taking some liberties. So the reason it is so hard to find info on the original AU is because the AU's creator scrubbed as much as possible of the AU from their Tumblr page, the internet, etc. And so most people when referencing the AU will specifically say this creator who wishes not to be named. They, they have been, for the most part, good at respecting that and then i heard a second name referenced which i think was like rudermentica or something i don't know if that's the actual creator or somebody else who did something there is so much drama in in the fandom where it is literally hard for me to tell so um 
I, I I think that this means that the broken AU's creator left the fandom, as far as I can tell. So the creator of this game said that they just kind of had to do their own thing. Um, there will be small changes to the lore with the development of later games. Yeah. Um, yes, this is an AU of the broken AU, which means certain things will be altered to fit the story. Um, no, not Rouge. I'm not sure who that is. I don't... I don't because by God of Undertale can I have half a million AUs, I can make one for FNAF for myself. Okay, help on a Freddy Fazer's Pizza. Looking for mechanics to do night repairs and animatronics. Yes. Have you questions for you for insurance and legality reasons? What is your gender identity? Oh, I love this. Um, I'll say non-binary. Mark that down in our database. This music is interesting. Um, also, I didn't see anybody comment on the volume, so I'm assuming it's okay. Um, actually, that just reminded me that I should alter. I'm going to update the um, game trigger warnings command real quick while I'm still thinking about it, because I want that to be up to date. Let me log in, bitch. Damn. I forgot that I had that extensive list of trigger warnings. Um... Let me see, cloudbot, commands. Okay. Oh, last one was, was for FNAF, so now I can just update it. Five nights of flirting. No jump scares, luckily. Uh, gore mentions of Shit, what was it? It was like child abuse. A uh, lot of stuff, actually. Gore, child abuse, torture, suicide. Anything I'm missing? Yeah, leave the audio. I don't think... I don't know how bad it's actually going to be, to be honest with you. Um, so I guess we'll have to see. Um, she's a Tumblr artist who's very problematic. Ooh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Knowing the fandom, that's probably why she was driven out. Okay. There we go. So this seems very intense. It is going well so far. Thank you, my love. Thank you for resubscribing, Biblio. Your name. Um, how do I get it to go back? That's how. Um, I'm gonna use B, because I feel like I have used too many- No! No! Ah, shit. I don't know why I keep trying to use the mount. The mount. Okay, gotta move that over. Okay, I can't see it anymore. Um, I'll use B, because I feel like I have used Stevie for too many games and then regretted it, and I don't want these motherfuckers using my real name. Okay. Sign your contract via audio by telling me your name, so it's time for you to get in there and repair our broken animatronics. Oh, and you should probably meet your coworkers too. Would you like to save? Yeah. Share file one. This is cute. Also, how the fuck do I full screen? How do I full screen? What? Okay. F12 does not full screen. <laughs> F12 does not full screen. Ah! Uh, okay, F1 pops this up. Keyboard. Launch in full screen. Maybe? Okay, so I'm gonna say shut down. But the problem is that if I say launch in full screen, it may not actually end up launching on the right display. Oh, fuck! Okay, launches in the wrong display. Bad news. Bad news, it launches in the wrong display. It launches on screen one. Ah, oh, this sucks. Wow, this is a very, very difficult to operate game. <laughs> this is really hard to operate. Oh my god. <sighs> so, also, oh, and then it froze Streamlabs. Jesus. 
This game is putting a lot of strain on my PC. I don't know if you can hear, but the fan is like huffing and puffing right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It won't even let me see my chat. What? Okay. Oh, a hype train is close. This is great. Hey guys. Um. Make that stream on no, I know, Barb. I have a lot of games, too, set on stream t on screen, too. Some of them automatically do. Um, I just don't like doing it on the first screen. Ugh. Yeah. I, uh, I probably will just swap it to the other screen. That's just going to be easier. You're about to have a little weird Inception moment. Hold on. Or I'll just go ahead and move everything over so you don't have to see yourselves via... Uh, Streamlabs on Streamlabs on Streamlabs, etc. Amen. Boo -doo 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 -doo. So I said that I was determined to start streaming on time, but the problem is that it did come uh, with a sacrifice of me not figuring out how to full screen the game first. I said I would though, and to be fair, I did. I did do it. But here we are. Okay. There we go. And done. Okay. I think we got it, boys. Got to make Streamlabs pop up again. Sick. Okay. There we go. This game is transphobic. No, it so is. Where is... Let me see. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Well, now it won't even let me click off. Oh, my God. It won't even let me click off to... Uh, to get back to Streamlabs now? Are you kidding? Uh, oh. Okay, wait. Wait. It's not showing it up? What? Why did it put it in the corner? What? I have it in full screen on my desktop and it put it in the fucking corner? Why did it put it behind my camera? Why did... What? Oh my god. Okay. So, um, I don't think it's gonna let... Okay, boys. Um, I think we're just gonna have to operate on the very little... Uh, on the very little screen. I'm really, I'm pretty PO'd right about now. Listen, I don't mean to use really strong language, but I'm feeling pretty PO'd right about now. Listen, I did not expect, a, like a, a grade A, like amazing game design, streamy, game of the year, streamy, award, what, et cetera, et cetera. But, I know it's not a triple-A game, but I really would have loved to be able to put it full screen. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. Say hi to yourselves. Say hello. Uh, yes. Barbara, it still does. And now I have to hear that obnoxious fucking theme song. Don't launch in full screen. Bitch. This better be the best game I have ever played. Like, I want to go, like, insane with how well made this game is after this point. Good God. Also, given the fact there's just like a little opening chime for the theme song, I get the idea that I'm not supposed to linger on this this spot for too long. Yeah, sure, I'll start here. <laughs> Can y'all see can y'all see everything okay? Is it all good? God. 
Man, these of our jobs weren't hard enough. Now boss has some new mechanic here at night. We're gonna have to watch out for... Hey girl, oh my god. Okay, so that's Fritz. B, is that you? I haven't seen you in ages. Hi. Wait. What are you doing here? Well, no use in trying to get you out now. The door's already been locked for the night. And there's no way out till morning. Hmm, so I know you're here as a mechanic, but what are you here to do exactly? You explain that your job is to repair the broken animatronics. Repair, right. As if there's any way to repair these pieces of scrap. Fritz scratches the back of his head in frustration. Well, can't just leave you in the dark, so I'll introduce you to the other security guards. <sighs> this is cute. I will admit it. It's cute. Very cold. God. After all, we have a better chance of survival when we work together. Trust is a must. Did you hear him right? Survival? Crap, I forgot they don't tell you anything when you sign up. But basically, it's like this. The animatronics start walking around the, the place at the stroke of midnight. It's haunted, possessed, either or. It's super dangerous to roam the halls at night. Lucky for you, I found you before you got lost, and, well, you can guess what would happen. You comment on how, actually, you have no idea what would happen. Well, you're not wrong. Basically, it's if the animatronics catch you, they'll stuff you into a suit. I'm not going to go into details. I'm sure Scott will be... Scott? will be more than happy to give the extra details anyhow. Who the fuck is Scott? Oh, he's one of the guys I work with. This week, we're all actually working together, so it's a bit odd. Normally, we'd be running a shift all on our own, more cost-efficient that way. But boss has a huge party popping up soon, and he wants us around to help you out and fix the furballs up before show, before show time. Well, I've hung around here long enough. I'll introduce you to the guys. Okay, love the implication that there's literally no way to get out of here at night. If there's a fire, do they all just get burned in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just have no way. Like, this is under threat of death. Like, you work here until you get killed. This is Chris. He's a janitor. You should on day shift, but like, the place looks so messy. Wait. Is it messy for murder reasons? Is it reasonable for me to assume that it's been messy because of murder reasons? I feel like the answer is yes. Also, I'm going to try switching to another screen real quick and see if I can get this. That's actually a little better. That's a little more zoomed in at least. I'm going to leave this here for y'all just so you can actually read it. It's in like the corner of my screen. That's a little better, I think, for y'all to view it. Uh, it was in-game creator Scott. I guess we'll have to see. If I remember correctly, I think the phone, the guy with the phone for the head is Scott. Uh, I'm assuming because like Scott Cawthon voiced phone guy and so they just plastered that name on him. This is Chris. He's a janitor. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's cute. All the piercings. Okay, Chris. Yo, yes up. Glad to have around. Glad to have around. Glad to have around some new meat. Means I have someone to pick on. <laughs> okay, this twink is evil. Chris is a really nice guy, to be honest. I just don't get why he works here. Well, it's just because I'm allowed to listen to my CD player while I work. Sometimes this is simple things that make it the most fun, fun for, make it fun to work for a place. Really? I don't believe you? What? That's a dumb option. Really? Hell yeah. I mean, can you count how many jobs let you listen to a music player while you work? Because I sure as hell can't. My love, there are so many jobs other than working at a murderous <laughs> restaurant that will let you play music while you work. My love, I promise. Have you ever been a dishwasher at a restaurant? A lot of them will let you do this. Please, I want that twink obliterated. No, you are right, Razzle Dazzle. Um, I want to move that alert box down or over. Let me test that out. Yeah, that looks okay. I'm just ooching it up. <laughs> Better. Also, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I changed my windows and my, my, like, my windows theme to be pink. So it's super cute now, which I do love. This is cute. This is the storage room, and and the this guy over here is Scott. Although most people call him Phone Guy. That's shitty. I think you should use his actual name. Oh, he's cute. He Hello? Hello? I hate this. Who are you? Oh, this is my friend B. They're the mechanic that took the mech tech job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but, um, good news. If you're with us, you won't die. Well, probably. Maybe. Anyhow, it would be nice to have some new someone new around. I look forward to it. Maybe if the animatronics don't eat me. Oh no, they won't eat you. No worries about that. If they see you, they'll just think you're an endoskeleton without a suit and force you into one of the suits in here. 
You'd be so mangled that your family probably wouldn't be able to tell you apart from a hunk of hamburger, to be honest. Not to discourage you from doing your job or anything. It's not that bad here. You guys are the fucking worst. Yeah, if you don't mind psychotic fursuits chasing you. Fursuits you say? <laughs> well, it was nice seeing you, Scott. Stay safe. I still have to introduce my pal here to the other guys. I will. Be sure to take care. Midnight will roll around before you know it. Uh, Stevie sees an actual phone. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> Not this motherfucker. Oh, my God. Ah, much better. You are going to wash your hands this time, right? Fritzy, buddy, pal, how's it going? Life treating you well? No accidents so far, right? No, not really. Just showing, my, showing around my friend B so they don't get lost and die. B, huh? I love doing this voice. <laughs> Vinny. Well, aren't you cute? <laughs> Don't even think. Don't even think about it, Vincent. They're off limits, girl. You do not get to decide that. What if I wanted to fuck the weird purple man? I don't. <laughs> well, aren't you a killjoy? Or it's okay, Fritz. I don't mind. Or ew. So I have to choose right now whether or not I want this motherfucker hitting on me. I want everyone hitting on me, just so I can make a big stink about everything. <sighs> Should I let the purple guy? hit on me probably will mostly because I like doing his voice um I also don't want Fritz to think I actually no I'm not interested in Fritz who am I kidding well MK said do it before anybody else said not to so I'm gonna let Vinny hit on me see Fritz they don't mind at all please don't encourage him no worries. I'm not one to kiss and tell. This motherfucker. Oh, I got a little heart. Guys, I'm standing right here. We still have three more people for you to meet, so let's head out. Okay, so I got a heart with Vincent, which is very fun. People, William, go. <laughs> People, William. Good God. Oh my God. Okay. Like getting commented on great fuckers. I guess that's a choice. Oh, this guy wearing little headphones. That's cute. I just know I'm going to mess up. How am I supposed to train the newbie? I'm still new myself. You don't need to worry about that, Jeremy. I'm taking care of the basics. Jeez, you scared me, Fritz. Sorry about that. I just need to show B around. Oh, um... Hi there, B. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so Jeremy is the shy and bashful type. Jeremy can be a bit quiet, so if he doesn't talk much, don't take it to heart. Ask him about his interests or ask him why he's so timid. That is such a rude thing to ask. <laughs> if someone is, like, visibly anxious in front of you and you go, Why are you so nervous? Why are you so anxious, little guy? That is so <laughs> intimidating. That is... Oh my god. Okay. Uh, no. I will ask about his interests, because I'm not a dick. My interests? Oh, I, I like anime. My favorite is Sailor Moon. She's beautiful and amazing, and she always manages to pull through and save the day. She does it all while still being able to hang out with friends, balance school life, and trying to find out who the mysterious tuxedo mask is. But of course, she eventually finds out and falls in love with him, and then they have Mini Moon. And I wonder if. <laughs> I know a lot of people wonder where Sailor Earth is. But I don't think they realize the Tuxedo Mask is actually the protector of Earth. And. and uh, I rambled. I'm sorry. Wow, what a fucking weeb. I love him. He's cute. I will admit it. Oh, if there's one way to get him out of his shell, it's anime. We'll catch you later, Jeremy. We still have two more people to visit. Okay, see you later. He's cute. I will admit it, Jeremy's cute. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, hello there. You must have been our new applicant. Yep, they're a newbie. One of my closest friends from high school, actually. Okay, that's good to know. So Fritz was one of our besties. Sailor Moon is a special interest. Yeah. Oh, well, we're happy to have you aboard. My name's Barbie. I like her. She's really cute. <laughs> She's really cute. She's very cute. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you. No problem. I'm always willing to help. I'm actually supposed to be working during the day, but I overheard some. I overheard rumors that there's been some disappearances in the building. For one of my father's co-workers, no one will tell me anything, so I'm investigating it myself. 
If you see anything, be sure to report it to me, okay? Oh, look at the time. I gotta hurry and introduce me to one more person, Miss Barbie. So I'm sorry, we gotta run. If she finds out what goes on around here at night, then we'll be in big trouble. And not just slap you on the wrist, Kyder. Dad doesn't really want... Oh. Okay. Who is her dad, then? <laughs> I wouldn't want her to know either, so keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Who the fuck is this asshole? Fucking choke me. Uh, are you into that or are you okay? He seems like a dick. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just figuring out how, I'm trying to figure out how much money I need to make before I can flip two birds in unison at this place. I mean, this place sucks. It's good to see you too, Mike. Hey, Fritz, who's the new person? This is my friend, B, and they're the one, person that grabbed the wanted ad for a mechanic. You're either dumb, naive, or desperate for money. Which honestly could be any of the above if we're completely honest here. Try to take it easy on them, okay, Mike? They don't really have an idea what's going on, just like the rest of us when we got started. Yeah, I know. This place just has a habit of making you really bitter, you know? <laughs> Name's Mike. I hope you don't mind him like the last guy. Mike! Hey! Ha <laughs> Fritz, what happened to the last guy? Actually, I think it's pretty clear what happened to the last guy. Um, the asshole's immediately my favorite. Fucking, of course, Becky. He doesn't have any hair. So, um, so this is Mike. This is Mike Schmidt. Um, because he was the guard in the first game. <sighs> he was who we played in the very first game. Fritz, I want to say, is who we played in the second game, but I might have that wrong. Um, so I'm wondering, are you bald judging? Well, um, when I met Shiloh, I was bald. It's okay. Oh my god. Thank you for subscribing, Shy. Ten months, ten months. Um, <laughs> I don't think Vinny is the dad. I don't think Michael is the... Well, maybe, maybe Michael Afton. Maybe William Afton. Maybe Henry. Although, I don't even know if they knew about Henry at this point in the lore. Like, when this game was created. It is so hard keeping up with the lore. Yeah, about half an hour before shift starts, so go ahead and look around. Until then, afterwards, though, head to one of our locations. It'll be safer for you with one of us. Go ahead and clock in. It's better to be early than late. It's not like you'll get paid extra, but you won't be docked pay for being late. Okay. I should clock in. Save game. Ah... Is that Foxy's? Hey, girl. Foxy stares at you with an eerie gaze. Best to leave him be. So the animatronics are still going to be trying to kill me in this. Can I run? No, I just have to do this horrible pace. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of animatronics. Who the fuck? Is that supposed to be Bonnie? Who the fuck is that? It looks like an elephant. Why do they look like that? There are 525,600 minutes in a year, and I gotta deal with the place for 23,040 of them. I consider that lucky myself. Sure, girl. There's a lot happening here. Oh, hey. Man, this place is creepy at night, isn't it? It'll only get worse if you don't fix the animatronics. Sounds exciting, don't you think? Hey, how am I supposed to fix the animatronics if they're trying to fucking kill me? That's the bathroom. Okay, another bathroom. Good. Wish I hadn't wasted my time. Um, oh, I didn't notice the signs the first time. Okay, is this the party room? I can't get to that door. Um, I wanted to go through this door. I don't know that I can. Entrance to the building, but it's locked. Oh, okay, I forgot that. Oh, this is there's blood in here. Pretty fast for head straight. It gives you the creeps. There's a sparkle over there. Are you bored? That's okay. I get bored before my shift sometimes as well. I recommend talking to everyone before our shift starts. Who knows? It may have valuable information for you. Okay. What is that? You're rustling inside the box. Open it? Yeah. Whoever taped this did a damn good job. You can't open it. You left it be. So I will probably have to find scissors or something for that box. Or like a knife. Okay. Was there anything over there? Um... Who should I go find for the... Shit. Let me in. Okay. So who was in here? Okay. 
Oh my god, help it helps. Tongs! Thanks, baby. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay. Uh, he's such a sweetheart. I love him. Jeremy is a real cutie. I may hang out with Scott. Was there anything over here that I should know about? Oh my god, it's Barbie! Yeah, she is so cute. Hope her night's going well. Um, Barbie doesn't know a lot about anything, and so I don't want to hang out with her. This is where Mike is. Don't go to Pirate's Cove unless you have to. There's so much shit everywhere. This place is a fucking maze. Who is this? Oh, this is Fritz. Grab me a pizza. Got an oven mitt. Thank you, baby. I need to find a pizza. Okay. That time limit is stressing me out. Okay. So it all kind of loops. Who should we hang out with? Okay, so up there is where Scott is. I can't go out the exit, obviously. Stand the vendors would sell dolls and not give, and give tickets out during the day. Oh, oh, that's a table. Okay. God, who should we hang out with? Uh, also, where the fuck is the kitchen? You said the thing about the pizza? The problem is that I don't think that Barbie is going to know anything, and I want to be with someone who's experienced, so I probably want to be with one of the dudes. They literally gave us one female option. <laughs> okay. 40 seconds. Whoever you hate in case they kill them. Oh, I'm hoping they don't die. 30 seconds. Is this the No, this isn't the kitchen. Where the fuck was the... Because Jeremy was down here. I think this was, like, the... The, like... Pizza. Let me take it then. I have it up. Yes, I have 13 seconds left. Okay, so I got the pizza. I have eight seconds left, so I'm gonna stay with Jeremy. I don't. I. I don't know what happens if I go outside, so I'm just gonna stick with Jeremy. But remind me that I have to take that pizza. Midnight, she decided to spend- Oh! Oh! Um, okay, so it automatically sends you back here. Um, Vincent Fritz, Chris- Chris? Who the fuck was Chris? Ah, Cheyenne redeemed, please, sir. Any spare subs? Any spare subs for poor orphan boy? Any at all? Thank you very much, sir. I will caution you that the bar won't go up for all of them. Only some of them. And I don't know why. <laughs> so there's that. Um, who was Chris? <laughs> um, was Chris the guy? Whoa! Oh, thank you, Aether. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I just got all those notifications at once. Thank you, Aether. Holy shit. <laughs> thank you, my love. I really hope the bar thing goes up for it, but I don't think it will. See other choices. Oh, okay. Back to the beginning. Uh, should I do Jeremy or Scott? Give this sub to Void. That's fucking funny. I think I'm gonna go with Scott. He feels very classic, you know? Boy, did my dad. I could do a poll. It doesn't seem like I want a time limit to do this part, so I want to do a poll. Hold on. New poll. I'm worried that Barbie won't have enough info for us. Um, um, purple guy. Okay, one minute. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Steve wants to fuck a phone. Ain't nothing new. <laughs> Y'all aren't gonna let me- y'all aren't gonna let me go with Scott, are you? Which is funny, because I really don't like Scott Coffin. 
Oh, Barbie's cute, though. Barbie's really cute. Okay, surprising number of people are going for Scott. Okay, it says I have 29 viewers. Y'all better fucking vote. I want to know what y'all want. Between the really shy guy, phone guy, purple guy, or, I don't know, pretty lady. What's well, not putting Mike on the poll? You know what. I don't want to deal with his ass. <laughs> Jeremy is so fucking cute, though. Yeah, I don't really care about Fritz either. He's kind of boring. I'm going to be real with you, Aether. I totally respect your choices, though. Oh my god, I'm going to get to go with Scott. Oh my god. We will alternate, so I won't do Scott again tomorrow night if I end up doing... Okay. Um, I won't do Scott again tomorrow night. Okay. Banarby. <laughs> That one should be so bad with a friend around, right? But now that I think about it, maybe it was Maybe it wasn't a smart idea to hunker down in the storage room while the animatronics are roaming. What? Maybe I wasn't the best guy to pick to hang out with on your first night? What? Actually, out of all the guys, I'm one of the few that's been stuffed into an animatronic suit and survived. I like to think it's because I'm really thin for your average guy. There are a lot of cross beams and wires inside, but I managed to tuck my head down for a bit when I was being crammed inside. The rest is history. How do you manage to do all that without getting hurt? Oh, that's not to say I didn't get hurt. I actually got hurt pretty badly. It took both Mike and Vincent to pull me out of the suit. In the end, I wound up bedbound for at least a week. The guys were nice enough to cover my shifts for me till then. Thanks to them, I didn't get fired. Me and Vincent are the longest standing employees here, actually. Okay. So, I'm a little bit upset that he's like, oh, well, I was the wrong choice, but that's great. But maybe he is just insecure. Maybe there actually isn't a wrong choice. Although I feel like Barbie would be the wrong choice because I don't think she knows anything about this stuff. I love the jazz, though. I love the copyright-free jazz. So given that, I should be more of a veteran in terms... I should be more of a veteran in terms of being able to survive the week. But I've had more than my fair share of close calls. There is a self-punishing look riding across Scott's face. What will you do? Try to say something kind or pat him on the shoulder. I'm gonna say something kind. Great, never mind. He did not even hear me. Maybe I'm just not cut out for this line of work, but then again, is anyone? Well, believe it or not, it's all What? <laughs> it's almost 6 a.m. Let's pack up and get ready to leave? Wait, 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 no. What? So we didn't do any work. I just spent six hours in a storage room with Scott while he moped. What? Laying in bed, you think about the events of the day. Oh, Aether said, I don't want to date Fritz. We might be more forthcoming with lore because of Homestuck bestie lore. That's fair. We did get a pizza and I never even gave it to Fritz. Damn. Scott seems to have a lot on his mind. Maybe there's a way to cheer him up? He went to bed for the night. That's cute. Another day, I should clock in and get ready for another night. Okay. Got a message on my pager. Come to the party room for a short meeting before your shift. Oh, this is the party room. Okay. All right, everyone. As we all know, B is with us for the next few days. Because of this, I want to remind everyone they should be shown the same respect as you would any other employee here. You talk like any of us actually respect each other. That's beside the point, Mike. Point being, they're new and experienced and are the most likely to be injured in a scrap. Unlike the rest of us who are already veterans of the game. Okay, so Barbie already knows... Because Barbie is standing right next to them, and she was like, and, and Fritz was like, Barbie can't know what goes on here. But Barbie is standing right here while we talk about this. I've never had the misfortune of actually seeing any of these monsters you guys talk about. Yeah, that's true. I know it can be hard being the new person. No worries. I can take care of the newbie. Teach you what you think. Okay. Oof. Mike managed to hit Vincent pretty hard. You take a note not to make him angry. Finn, you need to watch your language. That could be grounds for sexual harassment. Do you really want that on your record? Thank you, Mike. Hit him again for me. Okay, so I see why Tumblrinas fucking love Vincent. They do seem to love sexual harassment. Now that, now that I'm opposed to hitting Vincent when he says stupid shit, but didn't anyone treat but didn't you just say to treat everyone with respect? Uh no. Oh, okay, well. 
I changed my mind. Go ahead and hit him. S guys, we still have to prepare for the night. And this meeting hasn't really gone anywhere yet. God, I love Jeremy. I mean, I, I don't want to interrupt, but we should probably hurry up and finish. The, the meeting, I mean. Oh, right. Sorry, Jeremy. Well, what I was going to say was most dir mostly directed at our dear B over here. Now, not to put you on the spot, but we may be able to do our jobs better if you picked a permanent person to be your partner throughout the week. No worries, we're not going to make you choose right away. Tomorrow, whoever you pick, oh, will be the person you stick it out with for the rest of your time here. Reason being is, well, boss has kind of decided to get cheap on his side again. He's worried that having too many people around is causing a distraction and that you're not doing your work. So he told us we need to decide amongst ourselves by Wednesday whom you're going to spend the rest of the week with. Meanwhile, the rest of us will return to our respective shifts and recover for the person whom you picked if they're normally a day shift worker. So no pressure. Sounds like a little bull, but if you, but I'm good if you want me on your side. Let's show those fast fucks who not to mess with. Hey, one more time. Does Barbie know what's happening or not? Uh, <laughs> I'm not the best, but I'll make sure to do my best. Thank you, Jeremy. You know, you can always count on me, pal. Alone <laughs> with the whole place to ourselves, things can get nasty real fast. I'll try to be good company for you and keep you safe. I mean, hell, I've been through worse. Sticking it out overnight won't be so bad. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? I think the one with the piercings is Chris. And I think I remember liking him. I totally forgot about him. I think... Oh, Aether, I just saw your explanation for how your computer autocorrected high school to Homestuck. I was puzzled, but I wasn't going to question it, and I assumed it was a reference I didn't understand. Fuck off, Peepaw Vincent. I think that's Chris. If you need help with anything, I'll be in the office. No! You're gonna leave me alone! <sighs> you have until tomorrow to decide who you want to work with. For now, it's just another day, night at the pizzeria. <sighs> okay. So Scott is still gonna be up here, I'm assuming. Chris was the cannibal excited for new meat. Taser in the trash. I feel like I should find the trash and grab that taser. The place is so big, though. Um. Where's the trash? Um. No, let me in. This is... That's just where Fritz is. This guy's... Oh, is the trash in here? Ketchup. Okay, great. Boxes. Uh... Yes, give me a hat. I cannot reach the hat. Mop or broom... Okay, no trash. Jeremy is really cute. Ah! There's a trash can! Damn, bitch! Scratching out of the storage area. Damn place is full of rats. Maybe they think the blood is a nice touch, but they really need to hire more cleaning staff. Um. Barbie. Tomorrow I'll have some papers on the desk here. Can you throw them away for me? I don't want to look at it. Oh, I will do some snooping then. I absolutely will do some snooping. Um, is Vincent up here? No, I think Vincent's over here. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this is Jeremy. Drop soap in the oven. Hope the chefs don't notice in the morning. Girl. There's so many trash cans, and none of them have the fucking taser. Also, I know you said nothing was wrong with the pizza, but it is still there when it was not there yesterday. Hmm. So tomorrow I have to get those papers for Barbie. Wait, can I climb up here? <gasps> Probably not a good idea to go... Hey, 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 what, hey, one of the animatronics is missing. 
Hey, is there blood coming out of the suit? Out of the Freddy suit? Come back on night three. Hey. Hey, where's Bonnie? Oh, that's the entrance. Okay. Um, where was Fritz again? I kind of want to hang with Fritz today. I also can't find Vincent. I don't remember where he was. Where the fuck is the bathroom? I want to hang with that nasty little guy. It's okay. I ran out of time. Okay, boys. I don't know if we can die. Okay. Let's vote. I kind of want to spend time with Vincent. Downside, he is voraciously horny. Um, okay, Jeremy, uh, Chris, Vinny, uh, who is the last one? Okay, I'm, Chris has the piercings, Vinny is nasty. <laughs> um, two more options. Who else are y'all feeling? Um... Vince was top right. Okay. No, I do wonder if people are going to die throughout the week. Uh, Vinny. Uh, I'll add Fritz. Mm. How is voraciously horny a downside? Well, the problem is that I did the wrong... I'm going to have to change his voice because it's really hard to... It's really hard to be horny with this voice. <laughs> It's really hard to be horny with that voice. Um, I don't really care so much for Barbie, which is sad. She's adorable. But as far as character stuff goes, eh. Um, Jeremy, Chris, P uh, Vinny, Fritz, or... Shit, I'll add Barbie, I guess. I can't remember if there were other options. Um, oh, Mike. I don't care about Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... I feel like Fritz could be good for lore reasons, but Jeremy is so fucking cute. Jeremy is so cute. But also, well... <laughs> it is funny with that voice. Okay, so y'all are voting for Vinny, I see. Alright, okay. Ugh, okay. Um... There's a lot of people viewing right now who have not voted. Fucking vote. I want to know what you all want to see. I just want to see how- No, I want to see too. I am concerned because Bonnie is no longer on stage and there is now blood coming out of the Freddy suit. Perhaps the blood was already there, but I did not notice it before. So I am a little worried. I'm a little nervous. I will admit it. Um, okay, so it looks like Vinny is going to win with Chris as a second. Okay. <sighs> Ayo, how's it hanging, wiener dog? <laughs> Just kidding. I didn't. I said Vincent. Did I say Chris or did I say fucking Vincent? Okay, maybe even. Okay, back for another night. Bunch of bullshit is what this place is. Did I click Chris? I clicked Vincent. Okay. Do the animatronics, what's this, are really haunted? Yes, I do. Well, it's each their own, I guess. Did I click the wrong one? It's only a few things that exist that seem to matter in this world. Money, family, and your brothers in crime. Size out, the world seems pretty shitty. Hey, did anyone see? Chris was the second choice. Ah, but I should be ranting to you about this. There's nothing you have to concern yourself with. Chris seems pretty chill. Perks up a moment. Also, I like how it didn't even take us... It did not even take us across the room to where Chris is. We are we are down here at the entrance, and Chris is across the room in front of the stage. Chris is nowhere down here. We cannot even see him. Oh, yeah. I forgot I was going to tell you about why I got nailed in here, didn't I? Nail? It's nothing major. It's basically... It, it basically but down to one simple fact. I fucked up when I was doing my job, and I got caught and punished. This is my punishment for that. My brothers... My brothers don't hold it against me, but I still have to take my medicine for fucking up. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, why don't they bust you out? Do you have anywhere else to run? Hey. 
So does that imply this place is a, for, a, a sort of like hell for him? Or am I getting way too uh, analytical with it? Like, is this literally a punishment for, like, fucking up his job? Or a crime? Um, why don't they bust you out? They offer, that's for sure. My boys always have my back. <laughs> this is so cute. My boys always have my back. We're brothers in arms, <laughs> in arms after all. Oh, we have pink eyes. That's cute. I've made a blood oath to make one of them my sworn brother. His name's Juby. He's a hell of a guy. Is Juby dead? I only got two months left in this place. That's all the time I have left. I can kiss this place goodbye and see them again. It's been so long, I wonder if they even remember my face. Sure, okay. One conversation, and we're d Okay, fucking... Sure. Okay, I guess. Sit. What, I didn't even get to think through anything? Got a message on my pager. Reminder that after tonight, whomever isn't picked will return to their regular shift. Tonight is the night I have to pick one of them to stay with me for the rest of the week. Uh, no! No! <laughs> oh, God! Are you here to help us? We've been here so long. We're so tired of always remembering the past. What happened all those years ago? Please set us free. Please help us. Nah, fuck no! Fuck no! What? It's been so very long. That's gross! What happened? So, do y'all recognize who that is? <coughs> so very long, we just want to sleep. We just want to rest, but we can't. Not until the monster who killed us has been sent to his own grave. Not until he can feel his death again and again, forever suffering, forever dying. It's a nightmare we relive each day. So wouldn't it be fair, B? Fair that he should die the same way? I can't remember who did it, though. I just know it was a man. That is so helpful. <gasps> the man was a night guard? Man made us suffer, and if you stay here, you'll suffer too. If you can't help us, then you'll die too. If you can't help us, then your time is nearly up. If you help him, we'll kill you too! Wait! Okay. So, I am concerned that if I pick one of the night guards to stay with, then I will be murked. Because what if I pick the one that killed them? Now did Vincent do Now did Vincent do that murder? Cold feeling of chill shooting through your spine. Every pick is your command. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll be the branch you follow the rest of the game. Okay. Choose wisely. Okay, so it seems like this game is a pretty quick playthrough. I say we can do a few different playthroughs. Hey girl. You see a golden Fredbear suit in here? Where did it go? Oh, you know where it went, babe. That shit is possessed as hell. Where's Vincent? Where's my nasty little man? I think Vinny's horny, not murder as well. Hi, girly girl. You know, people never say the same thing two days in a row. Sometimes you can even forget what you were going to say entirely. That's super helpful. Thank you, my love. Yeah, I might have to stick with them. Oh, are all the animatronics gone? <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Freddy is gone, too. Wait, it said come back on night three. Do you remember? Come back here when you've regained all your lost memories. Lost memories? How much Barbie's doing all right? I worry about that poor girl overworking herself. What did that? Got a valuable ring? Sure. Shit, I guess. I still can't open it. Hi, Scott. Do you have a knife? I really hope Vincent hasn't thrown away any more important paperwork in the men's bathroom like he did last week. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, does anyone remember where Barbie's office is? Because I have to throw away that paperwork for her. Because I want to read that paperwork for her. I think she might be in the middle. Ah, thank you for the hydrate zone of the posture check. Okay. Hey, girl. Why well, so happy to see you? You said come back tomorrow night. There's nothing here. Wasting my time. Uh, that's Mike. Fuck Mike. Yeah, Beck, I said it. Fuck Mike. <laughs> um. Wait, I may actually run into him anyway. Hi, baby. Hi, Jeremy. Mike came in here and grabbed something snickering to himself. I'm sure it's going to be another lame joke. 
I'm looking for more sparklies on the ground. Hey, I don't think I've been- I don't think I'm given enough time to collect all the sparklies every evening. Ah! Okay. Should I spend the rest of the week with Vincent or Jeremy? I kind of want to do Vincent just to get it out of the way. But I will let you all vote. Because Jeremy seems like such a sweetheart. <sighs> Beck, I promise that we will fuck Mike in a later run. Because these runs do not take a long time. I should not have made that promise. Um, who do we spend the week with? I do kind of like the game's explanation for, um, like, why uh, you can only have one person for the rest of the week. I do think that's pretty clever. Um, so who do we spend the week with, boys? Jeremy or Vincent? Jeremy's a real sweetheart. I like the implication that, like, the only one here who's really been, like, flirty with you is Vincent. But the implication is that you're t you're talking to the others, um, and that inherently is flirting. That is, like, the most Tumblr mindset I have ever come across. Um, whew. Right now, the poll is 6 to 2 with Vincent in the lead over Jeremy. Get your vote in if you want to help determine the fate of this playthrough. Um, I think that Vinny's probably going to end up winning based on uh, where this is at. Hopefully it'll actually let me pick him this time. Hopefully it'll let me pick the right fella. I really hope it'll let me pick the right fella. If you do, Vinny, you have to keep the old smoker boys. Okay. More. Vincent. Okay. God, he's so grimy. <gasps> Ah, oh, baby, I knew you'd come back to me. We're just meant to be together, don't you think? This whole place is just a smorgasbord of entertainment at our fingertips, and all we have to do is take the time to indulge. Hey, do you ever do your job? Vincent clasps a hand around yours and squeezes it tightly enough to make your fingers ache. The question... Oh, my God. The question is, how rough can I be until you break? You mentioned that you still have animatronics to repair before you can let anything like that happen, or you will lose your job. That's true. And I wouldn't want to lose my sweet bottom so early now. Alright, so what do you propose we do? That was the stock scream that was used in FNAF. It was just the unedited version. That's so funny. Perhaps we should go to the... Mm. Perhaps we should go back to the security room first and think of what we should do before we get ourselves killed. Back safe and sound. <laughs> What is happening? After we take care of things, I guess something. <laughs> some things you've only seen in German porn, babe. So act quick. What are we gonna do about those nasty animatronics? This guy's the worst. Ew! I hate this so much. It dips and crevices of your hair. <laughs> it was only once you cleared the haze in your vision that you suggested you search out the broken animatronic. Hmm, suicide mission, huh? Sorry, but I don't think I can get off to the thought of being crammed inside a suit unless it's with you. <laughs> That's a dangerous thought you have there, you know? How ironic would it be if I told you I know exactly which animatronic needs repairing? That it just so happens to be the body one? Now about what we were doing, sugar. What? He did that for six hours? Wait, he licked my hand for six hours and now I'm stuck with him? Great. Good. Super good. He licked my fucking hand for six hours. And now the night is over. Why doesn't this game let me do my job? Why doesn't this game let me do my job? It's like, it's like, oh my, oh, you're gonna have to not get killed by the animatronics while you do your job. Makes you stay in a singular room and not do the fucking job at all. And it doesn't show a clock in the corner either. What is happening? Guess you need your rest too, though, don't you be? Sleep tight, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. The rest of my week will be spent with Vincent. I only hope we can figure out what's wrong and fix it for good. Save? Fuck, sure, I guess. Fucking, yeah, okay. <sighs> the last time I saved was when? Did I last save at the start of the last shift before I picked? Because I think I did. 
And in that case, I'm going to save this after I've made Vincent's choice to file two. Because then I can just restart from that last save. Sitting in the security office, you could feel yourself shiver, remembering the events of the night before. But you had work to do. What? The horny events? Oh. You had to be stern with him and tell him you weren't interested. Hey there, B. How's it going? What's wrong? Can't stop thinking about me? You need to stop giving unwanted advances or dot dot dot. Okay, so it seems like the player character is... Or it seems like the main character is is not interested. So what I I am concerned about what is about to happen here. Because I am concerned that if I say, please stop advancing upon me, he's going to be like, you wouldn't have picked me if you really wanted me. And I don't want to deal with that. You know? Because just based on the Tumblr culture of the time, eh, I don't know. You know? <sighs> If that's the case, I'll just dip and go back to the last save point. We have to see if Vincent respects consent before proceeding. Okay. Unwanted. Well, dang. I didn't realize they were unwanted. I respect your wishes. I'll stop. Pog. Sorry I come off as creepy. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when happen to lack normal people skills. What is this right? Sometimes that happens when happen to lack normal people skills. <laughs> Then again, when you act like I do, you know a person likes you for you. Just means you can handle my jokes, humor, and flirtatious attitude, just like the rest of the guys. Vincent is silent a bit, turning his hand to his throat. What? <laughs> Jesus! Then again, you tend to be a bit odd when you've gone through a lot of drama. Okay, okay, girly. What can you do? Best not to dwell in the past. It's better to just keep moving to the future, don't you agree? See you tomorrow. Sure. Fucking sure, yeah, all right, fine. That was the whole night? That was the whole night? I hate this game so much, this is not good. Okay, fine. There's an eerie noise throughout the hall, dead silent as you wonder what exactly is going on. <gasps> the clock reads 2 a.m. and Vincent- Did they kill Vincent? The clock reads 2 a.m. and Vincent is nowhere to be found. <laughs> Gun. Gun. No, I don't want to check and see. No. Hey, was he stuffed in there or does he sleep in there? B, what are you doing here? It hurts. You try to tug at the suit in an attempt to free him. <gasps> what? I'm so sorry, B, but I can't. Si I simply can't live without you. You know. It'd be cruel to let you live on without me as well. What? 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 <laughs> no worries. It'll only hurt for a second. Rest, my dear sweet bee. Rest. You're mine forever now. What? So he killed me? Ouch. Looks like your ending fell a bit short. But that's okay. Just start a new game and try again. Be sure to... Okay. Be sure to look for clues around your favorite guard. And talk to them frequently between shifts to receive hints and clues. Sometimes you may just have to research an area near them you searched before. Who knows? Maybe the man dumped a clue nearby? What do they mean? What do they mean? What do they mean? <laughs> okay. Okay. So. <laughs> what? Okay. So. It looks like this game will not let you have a happy ending with an individual guard unless that is the only person you talk to the whole time and you just investigate their room for the full three minutes. Maybe my mistake was, was not focusing on a singular individual. My bad. Um... <laughs> that was so unpleasant. That was so deeply unpleasant. Okay, so remember how we were like, oh my god, he respected my consent when I said the advances were unwanted. The next night, he gets stuffed as soon as he arrives, and then he's like, Yoink! and he, because he, he didn't want to live without me, which makes me feel like maybe he did not respect consent all that much after all. 
So, okay. I know that there are, I think, good and bad endings for all the characters. <sighs> but I do not know if there are, like, neutral endings at all. Because I saw in one of the comments on that page, someone was saying how they kept trying Jeremy's route over and over and just kept getting the bad ending. I am concerned that this game is sort of slanted a little <laughs> towards the bad ending. Um, <laughs> me as an ace sitting here. Hey, yo, yo, um, this is so unpleasant. Okay. Okay. So let's try this again. Cookie, I'm so sorry you want to play something else. I'm sorry. I need to know. I need to understand. I need to win at least one round. Okay. So let's choose who we actually actively pursue this time. Okay, so I'm going to look it over the cast. Let me see. Okay. Who do we focus on this route? Because it isn't a terribly long playthrough uh fuck vincent first of all um jeremy barbie mike scott chris oh shit or fritz um who do i want to cut out from this um jeremy barbie mike scott chris i want to add fritz should i swap out any of those people to hmm to add Fritz. Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. Should I? Oh, shit. Shit. Should I add? Because I'm not. Should I swap anybody out? I mean, in order to put Fritz or do we all like these options? more than than Fritz because I only have five slots and I would need six to fit them all in I still kind of want to know what Barbie's deal is but I'm not eh, I'm kind of eh at this point I don't know so Chris is in some kind of jail here some kind of like punishment deal and he misses his boys Vincent I don't know he's just he gets his rocks off to being insane uh, early 2000s good artists use their powers for the wrong reasons. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. We'll come back to Fritz, and we will just post this poll as is. All right, boys. Vote in the poll. Tell me who we should actually pursue, because this is the only person we are going to be talking to the whole fucking time. Um, like, the only person. Well, Cookie, I left in Mike for, for Beck's sake. Interesting. So Chris is y'all's second favorite. I guess I should have figured that based on how that one poll went. Fascinating. Okay. Um, everybody who's viewing this, you better fucking vote. I want to know, who should we go for the second route? Um, what are y'all talking about? Oh, the class groupie started talking. <laughs> Which I do hate. I made those groupies and I still don't even like, I still don't like being in a... What can you do? Chris is very fine. Okay, we're tied between Jeremy know. and Chris. Sorry, I pulled up my own stream so I could see how many viewers I have. Um, yeah, some of y'all are not voting. There's like 27 people in here right now, according to twitch.tv forward slash TV. They fucking... T Guys! <laughs> Guys! Come on. Okay, so now I have to do a second fucking poll. Great. Fine. Christ. I will add Fritz to this one. Sure. I... Y'all better fucking vote. Y'all better vote. More of you better vote this time, because I don't want to be tied again. Phone guy is a cutie. I'm curious about him. Becky, I promise you that we will do a playthrough of Mike just for you. You have supported me so, so much in the past year of streaming. I will do a mic route just because I love you. <laughs> 
Hey guys, hey guys, Jeremy and Chris are tied again, five to five. You better not let this happen. Do not do this. God. <laughs> I didn't allow uh, uh, bits and points voting because I wanted it to be fair. I wanted it to be the viewers actually deciding and not whoever's got the most points. But Jeremy the Beloved, he's so cute. He's really cute. Yeah, so it looks like my first couple saves are just busted. Because I was gonna... Okay, Jeremy won. God bless. Because um, I was gonna continue from the first save file, but it seems like even what I did in the first couple nights does matter. Which is kind of helpful, I think. Um, be -do 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 -do. AU of the broken AU. All y'all are fucking busted as fuck. Not responsible for injury slash dismemberment. Yes, I accept. Legality, gender, name. This motherfucker is adorable. Coworkers, yes, save. Uh, fucking file one, I suppose. Hi, girl. Okay, so in this opening, none of the animatronics are on stage. Uh, new boss is a mechanic. Yeah, I don't want to see a bad ending. I don't want to see a bad ending with Jeremy. God, that is so nerve-wracking. Fuck. Ugh. Haven't seen you in ages. Sweet Fritz. Bless him. Wait, what are you doing here? Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Repair. Once again, I do not even know if it's gonna let me do my my name. My game. Wait, I don't know if it'll let me do my job. I don't know why name or game were the only two. I feel like I was middle clicking the text uh, predictor on a keyboard. Tell you anything you signed up. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Start walking around at the stroke of midnight. Haunted, possessed. Then why don't you let me do my fu- I'm supposed to repair the animatronics. Why would they have me repair them at night when they're awake? God damn it. Stuff you in a suit. Scott. Let me- Let fucking- Okay, it talked about the boss having a party at the end. So I think I need to get there. I also did not keep track of the days. Um, but the narrator at the end was like, Oh! Your route got cut short. Sorry. So I, I'm assuming, because they keep referencing a week, but the game is called Five Nights of Flirting. So I'm assuming that it's only five nights, but I don't know. He's the janitor. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yo, what's up? Glad to have some new meat. Needs to have someone to pick on. Chris is a really nice guy, to be honest. I just don't get why he works here. Don't worry. It's for really sad reasons. He's actually in jail. Really? Hell yeah. Ba da ba da ba. CD player. CD player. What year is this? Okay. Scott. H Hello. Hello. Who are you? Oh, this is my friend B. They're the mechanic that took the mech tech job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but uh, good news. If you're with us, you won't die. Well, probably. Maybe. Anyhow, it'd be nice to have someone new around. Glad to hear it. Well, it was nice seeing you, Scott. Stay safe. I have to introduce my pal here to the other guys. We'll be sure to take care. Midnight will roll around before you know it. Ah, much better. You are going to wash your hands this time, right? Fritzy, buddy, pal, how's it going? Life treating you well? No accidents so far, right? No, not really. Just showing around my friend B so don't get lost and die. B, huh? Well, aren't you cute? Ha! <laughs> don't even think about it, Vincent. They're off limits. The whole, like, off-limits thing it was, like, so big in fandom. Oh, my God. God. Uh, I'm gonna say you this time. Rude. Yeah, fuck you. So, 300 people for you to meet. Let's head out. Fuck you for actually doing murder on me last time. Because I, well, I didn't find enough stuff for you? Okay, bitch. I just know I'm gonna mess up. How am I supposed to train the newbie? I'm still new myself. You don't need to worry about that, Jeremy. I'm taking care of the basics. Jeez, you scared me, Fritz. Sorry about that, I just need to show B around. Oh, oh, um, hi there, B. It's nice to meet you. Jeremy can be a bit quiet, so if he doesn't talk much, don't take it to heart. I'm gonna ask about his interests, but I am gonna speed through the Sailor Moon monologue. <laughs> well, 
If there's one way to get him out of his shell, it's anime. Catch you later, Jeremy. We still have two more people to visit. Okay, see you later. We did pick Jeremy, right? Am I dumb? Jeremy won. Right? Yeah, Jeremy won? Okay, good. I don't know, I suddenly got worried that I messed that up. Oh, hello there. You must have been our new applicant. Yep, they're the newbie. One of my closest friends from high school. Oh, well, we're happy to have you aboard. My name's Barbie. If you ever if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. Oh, you're so adorable, B. I'm actually supposed to be working working during the day, but I overheard rumors that there's been some disappearances in the building from one of my father's co-workers. No one will tell me anything, but so I'm investigating it myself. If you see anything, be sure to report it to me, okay? Oh, uh, look at the time. I gotta hurry and introduce speed to one of the one more person, Miss Barbie. I'm sorry, we gotta run. So it seems like she's a secretary. She finds out what goes on around here at night will be in big trouble, and I'll just slap you on the wrist, kind. Her dad really doesn't want her to know, and to be honest, I wouldn't want her to know either, so keep that in mind. But then you let her be there the whole time! <sighs> Fucking choke me. Are you into that? No, I want to die. <laughs> Okay, Beck, I see why you like him. It's good to see you too, Mike. Hey, Fritz, who's the new person? This is my friend, B. They're the person that grabbed the, the, the wanted ad for a mechanic. You're either dumb, naive, or desperate for money, which honestly could be any of the above. We're completely honest here. Try and take it easy on them, okay, Mike? They don't really have an idea. Of, they don't really have an idea of what's going on, just like the rest of us when we started. Yeah, I know. This place just has a habit of making you really bitter, you know? My name's Mike. Hope you don't wind up like the last guy. Mike! What? I'm just being honest. Come on, B. I'll take you back to the main room of the building. You have about half an hour before shift starts, so go ahead and look around until then. Afterwards, though, head to one of our locations. It'll be safe for you if you're one of us. Go ahead and clock in. Okay. I do wonder um, if they had initially planned to model the building after the map shit of the original games. Save game. Yeah, I will overwrite that save. Hi, my love. Wait! Fuck! Fuck! Why did I talk to him? I so I will go to Jeremy after this, and hopefully he won't, won't mess anything up. Shit! I think that as long as I mainly explore his- explore... Uh... Who I want, and I actually, like, invest time in them, I should be okay? I should be okay. That's Vincent. Where the fuck is Jeremy? Is he down here? He's in the kitchen. Yes, that's him. Okay. Hi, my love. Hi, girl. Hope it helps. Receive tongs. What am I supposed to use the tongs for? What am I supposed to do? Everything's been restocked. I'm now remembering why I did not bother looking around this area much. Or really any of the areas. Because it is pretty unassuming. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him then. I'm now realizing that, like, there's nothing else to do for him. I'll come back. I'm gonna go give that pizza to Fritz and then see if there's anything else I'm supposed to do. Okay, so this is where I clock in. He's so cute. Can't reach. Industrial cleaning. Bucket. I want to turn the bucket over and stand on it. Don't go to Pirate's Cove. Nothing. Is Barbie over here? See, I'm starting to learn my way around. Can't sneak a peek. Wow, she really does not say much. The drawer is locked. Okay. 
wait, I wanted to check that drawer. And then I'm going to go back to Jeremy. There's Chris's file. Age 26. Why? Hey, 5'2. 175 pounds. On parole for drug running. Signed an agreement to have him undercover for the mafia while running his parole day shift. What? <laughs> what? I like that I wasn't able to sneak a peek at the first file or the first drawer because Miss Barbie was looking. And then I just went to the one right next to it and it was like, oh my god, he's doing drug running. Like, okay, sure. Good for him. Come on, man. Be useful. Be fun. Fucking twink. Okay, well. I don't know what I'm supposed to do over there. They're like, oh, come back multiple times. And it's like, well, I mean, I did. <sighs> Said the thing out the memories. Okay, no. So Freddy's suit does actually have blood on it right now. Consider that lucky myself. Sticky fingerprints all over the glass. Good. Yes. Tongs. Yes. <gasps> I got a feather. A feather. Huh. Okay. And Scott. Can't open it. Let it be. I still need to find something to use in that. Okay, decide I'm spending the night with. Um, okay, I will spend the night with Jeremy. Cutie. Wait, you, you really want to spend the night with me? I'm not sure why, but I won't stop you. It's better than spending the night alone. The music's cute here. I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm usually stationed by myself, and I'm not good at people. Maybe next time you should pick someone else? Fucking bitch. Okay. You see a child's toy magnifying glass on the floor. Pick it up and work with it. Tell Jeremy he's doing his best. Which do? Which should we do? Because I want to be nice to Jeremy. It seems like he just needs encouragement. You know? I will say something nice to Jeremy. Tell Jeremy he's doing his best. But the other shakes his head as if in disagreement. I'm sorry. I must be such a pain to be around. I'm just useless baggage. Okay. Fucking pick me, boy. All right. Shift's almost up. Better close up and get ready to head up for the night, huh? Okay, so I picked the right choice. Or the wrong choice. I'm gonna make notes. Hold on. Where the fuck is my pen? Fucking. <sighs> Jeremy's a little weenie. Jeremy's a little fucking weenie. Okay. Night one. Jeremy. Trying his best. Result, not good. So I literally get like one fucking dialogue choice per night. Oh my god. Lesson learned. Don't be nice to them. Laying in bed, you think about the events of the day. Jeremy's a very odd but timid young man. Party you hopes will open up to you sooner rather than later. You went to bed for the night. I love that chime. Although I don't, I wish that we would get, I wonder if we were supposed to get kind of like an in-between like thoughts at night because that kind of helps break up the days. Cause in the last playthrough, I wasn't quite sure. It, like Vincent was like, see you tomorrow. And then I was just back in this hallway. Like there was nothing breaking it up. And so I feel like it would be good to kind of have some, some like review of the day in between and kind of give you a hint for what to do. Astronomy paper, party room, okay. These are the next few days, body ba da ba, everyone respect each other, cutscene, cutscene. Vinny's nasty. We should respect each other. Hit me harder, daddy. Move on. Sorry, Jeremy. 
I'm gonna have to pick somebody tomorrow. Sounds like a little bull, but I'm on you. But I'm good if you want me on your side. Let's show those fast fucks who not to mess with. So Mike is Mike is very confident. He wants to be chosen. Jeremy doesn't think he's his best. Fritz is adorable, and Vinny is nasty. Um, oh, Scott, I'll try to be good company for you and keep you safe. I mean, hell, I've been through worse. Sticking it out overnight won't be bad. If you need help with anything? I'll be in the office. Okay. Okay. If you see a taser in the trash, it's mine. Take it if you want. Nothing left inside. Okay. You have anything useful to say? You're able to save yourself if you have a weapon. Be unfortunate if you died. Oh, hell yeah! <gasps> now I can open that fucking box. Also, there are trash cans in here that I forgot about. So I'm to Lugie in here. Great. That's delightful. That's really delightful. Why is this the only clean sink? Okay. Um, I now have that knife. And I want to go over to Scott's room then. Hi, Scott. Wait, what'd he say? Fuck, what'd he say? Janitor's closet? have a knife yes got a bow tie okay why do you say about the janitor's closet i'll go find the janitor's closet and then worry about it hey girl you're the janitor where the fuck is your closet that was really unhelpful um i want to go talk to jeremy and see what he's up to we got a cane from the phone because he old great I don't think that's what- I don't think that's what happened. I actually dropped some soap in the oven. Hope the chefs don't notice in the morning. I can't even interact with it? Good. Super good. This is the most boring room. There's like nothing for me to interact with. Stock has been replenished. I don't even need refrigeration. There's nothing I can do in here. Jello mix in a cup inside the sink. Girl, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm supposed to do for him. I will not go in Foxy's Cove. Um, I don't think I need, wait, did I already talk to Fritz? I think I was already in here on night two. There's like nothing for me to do in Jeremy's room. How am I supposed to win? Damn it. Barbie, Barbie. An old file, 32. Father Barbie used to own the building of Fazbear Inc. for this area, deceased. Oh shit, her dad's fucking dead. Tomorrow I'll have some papers on the desk here. Can you throw them away for me? I don't want to look at it. Yeah, I would if you told the fucking truth. Damn, bitch. Okay. I will spend the night with Jeremy again. But I am frustrated. Oh, a little smile. You watch as Jeremy slides on a glove and reaches in to pull out a pizza. Ow, dang it. Oh, baby. I can't even do anything right. Can't even make a stupid pizza. Why do I bother even coming to it? Oh yeah, that's why. Girl, calm down. You pull out some bandages you prepared for your shift, given how dangerous the facility is. That's really cute. <laughs> that's really cute. He was like, oh, people tend to get stabbed here a lot. I'm gonna bring some band-aids. Okay, okay, girl. That's so cute. Thanks, B. I burned my hand on the stove trying to get the pizza out. No, I saw. I was watching. For some reason, I feel like the gloves are way too thin to actually reach inside and grab anything. But they may switch out the gloves on this night guard to so discourage us from eating the free pizza they have in here. Oh, not like I eat much anyway. But if you get sick, I can't see you. I won't make you, but you should. Well, if you get sick, I can't see you. Oh, um, I mean, I, 
I would love to still see you here. I just don't want you to worry or anything. It's just I'm not all that hungry. You know? I'll give this pizza to Fritz. I know he really likes pizza. And it won't go to waste. Unless you want it. I mean, if you want to share or... Yeah? Hey, um, you look very nice. I mean, would you like me to walk you home? Oh my god. Uh, wow, what a little twink. I love him. Jeremy, the poor kid just seems so sad all the time. Tomorrow's another day. Okay, so second night. Good. Um, Jeremy um, won't get to see you. Result, good. Save game, yes. Got a message. Shine is the night. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh, spooky times. Are you here to help us? We've been here so long. We're so tired of always remembering the past, what happened all those years ago. Please set us free. Please help us. It's been so long, so very long. We just want to sleep. We just want to rest. But we can't. Not until the monster who killed us has been sent to his own grave. Okay, so last time we did hang out with Vinny and he did die. So now I am concerned. Excuse me. Now I am concerned that um, Vinny was the murderer. Ah, oh, thank you for the posture check. Also, Cookie thought I'd let you know that Twink tried to, tried to auto mod you saying Twink boy. So I had to manually permit that. <laughs> Not until he feels death again and again, forever suffering, forever dying. It's a nightmare we relive each day, so wouldn't it be fair be? Fair that he should die in the same way? I cannot remember who did it, though. I just know it was a man. And that man was a night guard. That man made us suffer. If you stay here, you'll suffer, too. If you can't help us, then you'll die, too. If you can't help us, then your time is nearly up. If you help him, we'll kill you, too. What was that? A child's voice? She'll kill me, too. You try to shake off the cold feeling of chills shooting up your spine. Warning. Bada bada bada. No, I know. Bada bada. Okay. I only have two minutes tonight? Damn. Oh, hey, girl. You're running around, right? Help your clean up skills. Dustpan. Barbie. Barbie. Baby. Talk to me. Let me read a file. Barbie's file. 26. 150. My daughter. Hopefully we'll run the company as well as I have. High expectations for her. Currently working as executive manager. Hi, my love. Damn, bitch. Okay, you're not very helpful. Vinny's file. Chooses to work here. Daughter died in the 1987 disappearance incident. Kind of twitchy. Keep an eye on him. Night shift. Scott's file. Has some backed up bills to the company. Should take another five years till they're paid off. Good worker. Extend contact if possible. There's Jeremy's file. Home issues if the bruises say anything. Good kid. Expect to keep him around as long as possible. Night shift. Oh, that's really sad. Uh, poor Jeremy. Okay, so Vinny's daughter died in Bite of 87. Small hole in the box. Antidepressant meds. Hey, my love. Do you need these? Mike came in here and grabbed something snickering to himself. I'm sure it's going to be another lame joke. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Do you need these? Hey, babe. Do you need... Yeah. You found a taser? Yes! I get to keep the taser. I've been waiting on that one. Um, Why are his eyes so wide? Are you okay? How much Barbie's doing all right? Worry she's overworking herself. Um, regain all your lost memories. God, this walk is so slow. I hate that. Thrown away important paperwork. Lots of blood. I got a dustpan. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. And I only have four seconds left. So, I mean, I guess we'll see. Um, okay. There are a few people redeem stuff. Uh, posture check. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this, too. I, I am collecting a lot of items. Um... But I, I haven't gone to use all of them. Because they give you so little fucking time to use stuff. I need to make a note of stuff I got. I got the taser. I got the knife. Um, 
Although I don't know if items carry over from night to night because I got the knife from Vincent uh, the previous night, but I I don't I don't know. Maybe I threw away the knife after using it to open that box. I got antidepressants. Um, I read a lot of files. So Vinny's daughter died in the bite of eighty seven. Scott is indebted to the company. Jeremy is abused at home. Um. Chris is basically, like, d doing undercover cop shit, I guess. Um. Okay, so I have the taser. I don't have the knife anymore, I don't think. And I have the antidepressants. I used the tongs the other day. Did I use the tongs for anything? I'm actually not sure if I use the tongs. God, okay, um, Jeremy. Just gotta finish grabbing the rest of my... B, is that you? Does that mean you picked me for the night? But why? I'm, I'm not very... I mean, I'm not brave, and I'm not the best at my job. Heck, I'm not even sure I'm suited to help you out at all. I... I gotta get you to safety. Come on, to the security room. Oh, I hate this job. I can't do it anymore. Oh, this is that room. Oh, can't, they don't, I can't do it anymore. The only reason I stay here is because of my dad. It's better here than there. At least when the animatronics beat me, it's because they're stupid robots. Oh, what? I'm sorry, B. I'm so sorry, but I'm done. What? Uh, I'd rather the animatronics kill me. I don't want to be alive anymore. Being alive. Hey, girl. Hey, girl! Oh, this is a lot. It hurts so much, you know. No matter where I'm at, something always wants to hurt me. At least I don't want to feel this pain anymore. Okay, so Jeremy is in crisis. How am I supposed to fix this? Jeremy sobs into your shoulders for quite a while. Please don't let go, B. If you do, I don't know what I might do to myself. Please just hold me for a while longer just until the pain stops. Hey, girl. Um, I, did they give... This sound- I'm- I don't mean to sound insensitive. Hey, did they give me anything to- to- Right. They gave me the antidepressants. So am I allowed to be like, Oh! Oh, I have just the thing, my good sir. Here you go. What? Ah, uh, sorry I had to see that side of me. Okay, I don't know if they added that to the trigger warning list. Cool. This game is fun. Yeah, no, there was a suicide warning. Jesus. Oh, man. I found out what animatronic needs to fix. It's Chica. If you can patch her up, I think you might stand a chance of ending this nightmare for good. Please help me one last time. Time to go home. Did I really cry that whole time? Sorry. Okay. So at least I know who I actually need to fix. Because last time, some I think Vinny was like, oh, I know who you need to fix, but didn't tell me who. Um, save, yes, file one. Oh! Oh, so we just met back up here again. B, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have you catch me crying like this. It's, it's just, I have severe depression. Uh, I know, girl. It's okay. Me too, it's okay. We can share antidepressants. Sometimes it gets to me. A lot of times harder than most. It's usually when I think about losing something I really care about. When I hear something similar to a voice in my head telling me I'm not worth it. I try to fight it, I really do, but those words are so hard to fight alone. Embrace or reassure. Both of these sound like the right choices, and I am very concerned. Uh, embrace or reassure. It seems like he's a physical touch person. I think a hug might be best. I think you're right, Biblio. <laughs> Prozac besties. Oh, Vinny said Bonnie last time. You're right, I missed that. Yeah, a hug might be best because I think he's a physical touch person. Oh, that's really cute. I'm so, so sorry, B. Every time I think something... Oh. Every time I think of something bad happening, do my stomach flips. Wow, you have such bad anxiety, my love. <laughs> I can't breathe and I just start sobbing. You're very important to me. I don't want to lose you. I want to become a stronger person. Not just for you, but for me. We met three days ago. But it's so hard. Sometimes it's so hard I can't even get up in the morning. When I take my medicine, it doesn't always help. 
Sometimes it gives me the strength to actually carry out, a, carry out actions I wouldn't normally have the will to do. I want to get better. I just need to figure out how. I have those antidepressants, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Also, okay, I survived this night, which is more than I got with Vinny. So that's cool. Um, ah, shit. Was this night three or night four? This was night four. Fuck, what did I do for night three? Um... What was the dialogue choice I picked for him? I don't know, but it went well. We ended up hugging. Night four, uh, embrace, and that went well. Fuck. Does anyone remember what that what the one dialogue choice I made on on the night before this was? Cause night I embraced the night before he ended up hugging me and shit. Cause he was very sad. I don't even know if I was given an option. Right. You might be right, Biblio. Jeremy seems exhausted. You walked him home before heading home yourself. Save. Yes. Okay. We enter the room. The atmosphere already seems vastly different. Jeremy has leaned over the desk, hands planted firmly on either side of his keyboard. He's searching for any trace of the animatronics. As he turns to you, his smile seems genuine and kind. Oh, what a sweetheart. I feel much better today. Thank you so much, B. Oh. Thanks for everything yesterday. Perhaps all I needed was someone to notice me? Someone to take the time to help me out of my slump. I'm just glad that person was you. You smile back at him and nod. Well, this is it. Let's fix the animatronic. What? Oh, God. I'm so nervous. I feel like there's going to be a jump scare. I'm like so nervous. Where the fuck is Chica? And the sign is gone. God damn. Uh, no, it wasn't reassuring because the option for, um, night four was, um, embrace or reassure. Check the kitchens. You're right. Oh, wait. You're right. Chica does love the chick the kitchens, and that's where Jeremy usually spends time. There's no time limit. I mean... Someone managed to clean the nasty sink. Is the... I would love if I could see my inventory, but here I am. Um... Can I check these files again? <laughs> I don't have the time to snoop. Okay. I'm trying to think if this is going to bear any actual resemblance. Chica does love pizza. I'm trying to think, will this bear any resemblance to the actual game as far as, like, what side they come at you from? But I don't think so. I haven't seen any of the animatronics, much less Chica. And there's, like, four of them. Is something supposed to, like... Hey, girl. Okay, won't even let me talk to him, see? I want to get the fucking hat. Oh, yes! Yay, I got a top hat! <sighs> Do I even have supplies to, to kill her? I'm not even clear on that. Where is everyone? The blood is Scott's! He's been suffering and hurting far too long. Let's end this. What? Wait, have they all been ki- Hey! Tonight you will all be put to rest? That's what you're thinking? Am I playing the one who killed the kids? Hey, who had that theory about everyone is gonna die in the in-between days? We already came here. What, do I have to bust open the... God, that's funny. Having to check in the fucking stalls. Like, no one's in there. Maybe I have to find something first? 
Instead of the sink, you look in the mirror and think whatever is keeping you alive, do you still draw breath? Or maybe the customers here are just slums. Child's restaurant seems disgusting. Things in this trash can have ceased to phase me. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I am nervous, but I don't know what to do. Like, there's nothing in the fucking stalls. I think it's fun they implemented that, but, like, there's nothing here. How the hell does this place stay open? The tune from the other room is catchy. Girl, what tune? You're a tune? Y'all have tunes? I don't see anything. Boy, I fucking hate this shit. I kind of want to go to Pirate's Cove, but I feel like doing that is dangerous. Um, okay, girl. What am I supposed to do now? It's like very quiet, nice music. <laughs> I, Beck, I just saw your message. Chica, you shitting in there? <laughs> what? That pizza has been there for days and it doesn't even let me do anything with it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm stuck. I don't even see any, like... You'd think she'd be in the kitchen. I don't see anything. Ah, bye, Razzle Dazzle. I'm gonna go back to the security office. Girl, we're fucked. What are we supposed to do? And I don't even have like an inventory or anything. Unless there is and I'm missing it. Keyboard. No. Great. There is not. Good. Super good. Fuck am I supposed to do? Chris used the last of the soap. Fritz must be sick of this place. Let's put his brain Okay, so Scott, it, we found Scott's blood and it was like, oh, Scott's in pain. We should free him. Like what? Go to Pirate's Cove, coward. It's That's the last place I have to go. Like, I don't know where the fuck else I'm supposed to. Can I clock out? It won't let me. Okay, girl. Nothing's in here. The sand... The sand makes you think of all the memories that are flooding back to you. Like the sands of time. Okay, remember... The sign on night three on the stage said to come back once you have all your memories. So maybe... This will trigger that. Odd how your memories can bloom in such a hellish place. See something glimmering. Grab it. Ah, uh, it said not to fuck with Foxy's treasure, but I'm going to. You begin to dig with Foxy's gaze on you. You remember you have a dustpan. Do you want to use it? I mean, shit, I guess. I got a hook. You don't need the dustpan anymore, so you threw it away. Hey, do I have Foxy's hook? It said I have Foxy's gaze on me. Also, what was that? What's that little... Best not to linger. Hey, where the fuck was Foxy then? It's trying so hard to be serious. It said I have my memories back. But the sign is gone. What? Where's Chica? So I have a hook. Was there anything that I hadn't been able to get to before? Because I didn't have... A hook. <laughs> Oh my god. Also, do I still have Fritz's antidepressants? <laughs> like... I, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> like... No one is here! Maybe I need to go back to Jeremy's base. Because I have the, the item now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm about to look up a fucking tutorial... Because I feel like I'm soft-locked right now. Am I... Like... Right, did the animatronics just fucking leave? Because they're like, oh, you have to find Chica. And then, like, pink glitter pens in the trash can. That's adorable. 
I don't have time to snoop. No, actually, apparently I do because nobody is here. No one is home. Is there anything I can do with the hook now? Smells like copper. Good. So good. So super good. Um, did you get whatever was in the trash? Which trash? Uh, do you mean the taser that Chris told us about? Because yes, we did get that a while ago. What am I supposed to do here? I got the fucking hook. And I have a top hat. I wonder... That reference that Chris has cleaned up enough bloodshed with this mop. Let's change that. I... <sighs> Maybe the hook can open the boxes. See, that's what I was hoping. The blood is Scott's. Now I know that. A key. Oh, there's a key that seems to have been recently put here. It's covered in blood. You obtained a night watch key. Does that mean I can finally leave this godforsaken place? As you stare into the face of the defaced robot part, you feel a wave of relief. It would all be over soon. What does the character know that I don't? There's a note here. It reads, good luck, friend. It's got to be from one of your coworkers. That is cute. Um, does this mean I can get out? Use the key, bitch. What key can I get in the case? Please. Okay. What am I supposed to use the key on then? Did Scott die? Unclear. Super unclear. Okay, those are the bathrooms again. Does anybody remember seeing anywhere we could use a key other than the front door, which it won't let me use the key for? There's nothing in here. Oh my god, this is so fucking annoying. I'm about to Google this shit, y'all. How do you win night five? Is there anything in here? I'm supposed to use the key or the hook on? The key in particular? Like, nothing in here. I'm not able to interact with anything in here. Okay. Key to the party room. Well, the party room is that main room that it keeps sending me back to. I've been in the party room. Like, this is the party room. I'm... <sighs> is there a secret door? Secret walls? No? It's just not a well-made game? Okay. All right. We're Googling this. Oh, the office. I will... Okay. I will try the office. I will see if there's anything that it will actually let me look around or look in. Because it keeps, it, it just kept saying, it let me look in every single one of these cabinets before, but then tonight it's just saying that we don't have time to snoop. Is there anything in the desk? No? It's just a bad game? Okay. Uh, top right uh, is the corridor that leads to the bathrooms, I believe, because that's where Vincent always was. Uh, these top right doors, uh, we don't know because it won't let it get let us get past this. Wait, oh, it was a gate. <gasps> oh, okay, well, just like a detective. Amazing, thank you for mentioning that back. Okay, so this is probably where you need to get then. This is spooky. Thank you, Beck. Oh, you came. I hoped you would. Okay, so. So the ghosts have their own secret clubhouse that they just go and hang out in. Okay, you came. I hoped you would. You remind me of a person I knew so long ago. Does that mean I'm about to get killed? Because that makes it sound... He used to help me out when I needed it. I was always so sad, but now... Ugh, I'm so nervous. I've been waiting for you to come here to set me free. I'm so happy that I'll finally get to rest. The child turns toward Jeremy a moment before turning back. I remember having a close friend. He was a lot like you, B. He was so strong, and he always took care of me when I felt bad. I got sick a lot, and I needed medicine. I hated taking it. <gasps> One day we got into a fight about it. I didn't want to take it, and he stormed off. I should have ran after him, but I yelled back, telling him to go off to Pirate Cove and hide away like he always does. 
I never got to see him again. Looking back on it, I know he only did it because he cared a lot about me, just like you care about Jeremy. I wanted to get better. If I can't be happy for myself, I, I can never hope to make me happy. If I want to love someone, I have to learn to love myself. I wish I would have thought that way. The child looks at the feather in your hand. It's okay. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to sleep. What? I just... <laughs> Giving one last look at the child, you place the missing chunk of feathers onto Chica before backing away. So she... She just needed a little chunk of feathers? Thank you so much. That's very heartwarming. That's really cute. <laughs> hey, that tickles. You chuckle as you nuzzle him again. We better head off. We're going to be late. I don't want to miss my therapist appointment. I feel like I've been doing so much better since we've been going, and afterwards, maybe we can go out, you know, on a date? Well, we've been going to therapy together? Okay. You smile at the proposition, not an agreement. It sounded like a great idea. As Jeremy threw on his jacket, you stopped and looked over your shoulder at the bottle of medicine on the table. You come a long way from the horrors of the pizzeria a mere few months ago. Perhaps in time, those wouldn't be the only nightmares he could move past. Congrats, you bagged yourself a security man and got the happy ending you deserve. Okay, be here to check out the other routes. If you can figure them out, see you next time. Okay, T, so we got the happy Jeremy route, which is adorable. They did do some nuzzling, though. <laughs> what? Okay. So, the music is kind of cute. I will admit it. That's, the music's kind of nice. Okay. I forgot about the really intense music for the controls. Okay, girl. So, we finally got a good ending. Bada 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 ba. Yes, okay. Okay. So, automatically started me on a on a, a redo. Um Oh god. Okay. So I'm wondering what some of the other items were necessary for then. Because there were quite a few items that I never got to use. Um, which I'm not totally clear on. I am also now thinking that it probably doesn't matter who I talked to before my time ran down. It seems to only matter that I spend every single night with that person. To be fair, that was kind of cute. Um... The other animatronics, I think. I, it seems like each security person is going to end up kind of referring you to a different animatronic. And that's going to end up freeing a different, like, spirit of a child. And so I guess they all kind of identify with one of the, um... Uh, fucking... Like, I, I think that each child's soul is going to identify with one of the security guards' issues. Wait. Hey, guys. I think we got a bad ending with Vincent because we turned him down. Because I'm realizing that there were dialogue choices in almost every night, and it seems like that is what mainly made a difference in how you... how your... your like, what your ending was. And with Vincent, we told him to stop creeping on us, and then the next night, he didn't show up until 2 a.m. and then killed us. So that is definitely what triggered that event. So you literally just cannot get any kind of good ending at all if you chose Vincent and do not actually let him pursue you. So that is interesting. And... Yeah, okay. Um, Jeremy's really sweet, though. This music is so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on my Nintendo music again. Um, so that was interesting. I think I can safely say that it was interesting. We got the bad ending because he wanted some personal space. Yeah, honestly, I would have just liked if he would flirt in a different way. He just had a lot going on. He just like fully, this game is so fucking weird. Oh my god. The woobification of murderers um the like dude who works for the mafia 
the soft boy with mental illness. It's all so... Oh my god. Okay. It's very Tumblr in the worst way. It truly is such a Tumblr game. Um, one woman, and she wears all pink. Um, Jesus. There is a lot going on in that game. Um, I'm going to make another drink and go to the bathroom. And then we can decide what we want to do next. Because if we want to keep trying to do the other routes just to see how they go... I would love it. I I would like to see what Chris is up to next. Um, but if we want to play something else, we absolutely can. But I'm going to go make another drink first.